Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. In today's video, as you can see, we are getting very up close and personal because I wanted to talk to you a little bit about under eye hollows. I don't know about you, but I definitely start to feel very self-conscious about my under eyes and I feel like it's the only thing that people notice. Of course, that's not true. People are not really noticing your under eyes. It's a personal thing. It's how you feel about yourself. And to be honest, I feel like that is the most important thing. How you feel about yourself, your confidence levels can affect so many things. Now I do have a video on concealer application where I touch upon under eye hollows and I will link it for you. Today I wanted to focus on it because I know that when I used to try and find tips and tricks to conceal my under eye hollows, I would sometimes struggle to find videos. It's definitely got better out there. There's definitely more stuff out there, but I just thought that I would share with you what I do to try and conceal my under eye hollows. So before we get into it, please do consider subscribing to see new videos like this every week. Okay, let's talk under eye hollows. Under eye hollows are caused by many factors. So it can be genetics, it can be age, weight loss, dehydration, tiredness. With me, it's definitely genetics, age, it's definitely volume loss in my face. And um, when you get older, you lose elasticity in your face and you definitely lose volume under your eyes. When we lose that volume, we start to see these dips, these curves, and we start to see these fat pads become more visible. So before I move on to this tutorial, I need to express how important it is to have hydrated under eyes because no matter what tutorial you do, if you do not hydrate the under eyes, if you don't do your best to try and plump them up or depuff them with um, a product of some sort, then you're probably not going to get the result that you want when we put some concealer on. So I'm just taking a serum. This is by Beauty Pie, it's my favorite under eye serum. You can take any. Today isn't about the products, um, but I will link everything that I use down below. And I'm taking this all over my eye. But this morning when I decided that I was going to do this video, I also used eye patches. These are my favorite eye patches. You just get them from Amazon. I think it costs about nine pounds for 20 under eye patches. And you basically just pop them on your under eyes and leave them there for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then they will work to hydrate your under eyes, work to deep puff, firm them up a little bit and just get them ready to receive that makeup. Now, in order for you to see exactly what I'm doing in this tutorial, I do need artificial lighting on, but let me just turn my main ring light off so you can see my under eyes a little bit better. So there you go. You can definitely see a little bit more my hollows. Mine are kind of exacerbated as well because because I've got really thin under eyes now, I have a prominent vein there, which is making it look like a contour. So I have that <laughs> to deal with as well. And you'll often find that when you smile, can you see, when you smile, your contour might go away. Fat from your cheeks is kind of put, being pushed up into your under eye hollow. We actually call them a tear trough. So your tear troughs are being filled. That's why people get under eye filler. We want to give an illusion of filling this contour. That's what we want to do. As you can see, this eye for me is a lot more prominent than this eye, but I do feel like this fat pad here is a bit more prominent. So we've got a challenge, we've got a challenge today. Because we have these under eye hollows, it's definitely going to give us more darkness under our eyes. You know, it's going to make us look a lot darker than what we actually are. So because of that, a lot of people are going to suggest that you use a color corrector to try and color correct that darkness. I personally don't like to use a color corrector and that's just simply because it's more product. It's more product to be putting under your eyes. And for me, the less product I use, the better. I won't be using a color corrector. You can if you like, but I'm just going to show you what I personally do. So this includes using concealer and then it includes using powder very, very strategically. I'm just taking the Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer. You can take any concealer that you wish, but we're not going to swipe it under our eyes. We're going to focus on our hollows. The best way to do this is to look down because that's when they're going to be more prominent. It looks darker than what it is because it dips in. So we need to focus on the dip. 
and we need to give the illusion of bringing it out a little bit and we're going to do that with concealer we're not going to bring concealer up underneath underneath our lash line another thing that i have which doesn't help is deep set eyes so i have under eye hollows and i have deep set eyes so it means my eyes are just completely dark because they look so sunken in so i'm going to go into the corner and uh, this is the shade n3 by the way so a neutral shade but it is quite light we want a lighter concealer choose a concealer that is a little bit lighter than your skin tone we're going to look down and we're going to just and you're only doing tiny dots literally tiny dots that looks like an, a lot and it, it really isn't and then because i've got a vein there i'm going to dot it there we'll do one eye at a time so for the blending, I would really advise using a brush. I'm using my BK Beauty, it's the Angie Hot and Flashy, the A506, because it's angled and it allows me to get into nooks and crannies as, as best I can. You could use, you could use a brush like this, see the shape of it there. I think this is actually an eyeshadow brush. I don't know, it's, a, it's an old Morphe brush, but I'm gonna use the one that I know and love and use every day. So basically, I'm going to take the tip and I'm just going to tap. And I'm just going to tap. I'm not doing this, bringing it all over my eye. I don't want it all under my eye. I only want it in the contour. So we're just focusing it in that area. Just in the contour, just where it's dark. Can you see already how that has got rid of the darkness? And I haven't needed to bring the concealer up under my eye. I haven't gone crazy with it. I've just focused it in the contour. I'm just going to blend that. So can you see the difference? I'll just stop there so you can see the difference from before. There you go you have used a lighter colour to give the illusion of bringing that contour up and forwards and out. It's just an illusion. That's all it is. The thing I'm seeing here is my vein. It's actually not a contour there. But if you have a contour all the way around, you just do the same thing. I'm going to leave that to sit for a minute because the longer you leave concealer, the more full coverage you will get. And this Natasha Denona is quite full coverage, actually. My other hollow isn't as bad. I'm just going to dot again, because I definitely have a prominent fat pad on that side. I hate that word. Do you? I hate the word fat pad. I don't know why. It just sounds horrible, doesn't it? The fat pad. Yeah. So I'm taking this brush this time. This allows me to just concentrate in that contour. So we're tapping. Don't bring it any higher than that contour. We need to use as little product as possible. You see? See how that's given the illusion that we're bringing that contour out a little bit. But if you were to bring that concealer down here and you were to bring it up there, then it just all looks the same. Lathering the concealer under your eye, yes, it will get rid of some of that darkness for sure, but it's not going to help your contour. It's not going to help the under eye hollow. So let's just brighten up that in the corner. But you can see there is still a little shadow, but we're going to deal with that in a moment. The next thing I need to do is I just need to pop some foundation on, and then we're going to go in with some powder, which should help to completely minimize those under eye hollows. Bear with me while I just pop some foundation on. So I still have the lights down. I have no ring light on. I really hope that you can see this. Fingers crossed, otherwise this could all be for nothing. <laughs> We're gonna finish off our eyes. I just popped some foundation on. I did not bring foundation anywhere near my under eyes. That's why I tend to do my concealer first to avoid that from happening. You don't want excess product under your eye because you're just going to ruin what you've done and you're just going to cause settling and dryness and cakiness and you don't want that. I'm going to go in with the concealer again and because I have darkness um, on the outer corner of my eye, I'm just going to pop a little bit here just to give it a little bit of a lift. I'm not going near the inner 
part of my eye that we've already concealed. So we're just tapping, we're not dragging. So if we look at our under eye hollows here, what's happening is we can still see the outline of the contour because the light is reflecting on the contours. It's, re it's reflecting from the contours, as you can see. So what we need to do is we need to mattify that. If we mattify that area, we're not going to get that shine. We're not going to get that reflection. And it's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be as close as we can get it to that. First of all, we need to just pat out any creases that may have formed. And then we're going to choose a powder. I believe that choosing a loose powder to do this would be your best bet. However, if you have great success with a pressed powder, a pressed setting powder, then stick with that. Whatever you find works. For me, the best two powders that I've used have been the Huda Beauty Easy Bake in the shade Pound Cake. And I also have started using this recently, which is the Givenchy Prisme Libra. Honestly, I prefer the Huda because the Huda definitely gives me more coverage. This one gives me less coverage, but it is a little bit smoother. As with applying the concealer, I want this step to be very, very precise. And if you've been here before, you will have seen me use this really old and tattered eyeshadow brush. This is a really old one by Morphe and I have always used this underneath my eyes. It's really great because I can focus the powder in the contour. I am not bringing powder all the way underneath my eyes because that's just going to settle into all my fine lines. So I want to be really precise with my powder application. So I'm going to show you what I do. I'm going in with the Huda Beauty, tap in, tap it off. You don't want excess product on your brush. We're going to look down. And we're just going to tap. And there you go. Can you see how that has just taken away the shine? So your hollow is covered. And the only thing you can see there, that is actually my vein. I can tap over that and it will slightly get rid of it. But there we go. So that's me putting my chin down as much as I can. That's how much we've concealed the under eye hollow. So if we just compare that to what it was like before. And that's how you conceal an under eye hollow. First step, concealer, but very strategic in where you place it, only into the contour. And then second step, powder to mattify, take away that shine, take away the reflection of the contour. And that's what you're left with. Now the other side, I have more of a prominent fat pad. So it is quite difficult to conceal, but using a powder just underneath it will minimize the appearance, as you can see. So you're never going to conceal it fully, but you're going to minimize. So there we are. Under eye hollows, minimize, not completely gone, but absolutely improved. So there we are, a whistle stop tour on concealing under eye hollows. And I think the key here is to really have realistic expectations about what the outcome is going to be. We're never going to get rid of our under eye hollows without surgery or without under eye filler. You're never going to get rid of them completely. The only thing that you can do is to give the illusion that they are not as bad as what they are. And I think that just being really strategic, really careful with the placement of the concealer and with the powder, I think will really help you. I think we've just grown up in this social media age where, you know, we see how YouTubers do their concealer and we see them using generous amounts of concealer and we think that that's how we should do it. But actually concealer is supposed to be used really specifically. You don't need to plaster it under your eyes. You use it in the problematic areas. And that's what it's there for, to minimize those 
problematic areas and that's just an example there of how to use it very very strategically take a shot for every time i've said strategically strategically <laughs> thank you so much for joining me for this video if you did find it useful please do give the video a like and consider subscribing to the channel because i would love to have you here i'm really looking forward to seeing you in the next one but until then take care and bye for now